Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, we're going to be working with multiple videos on multiple video tracks and showing kind of the priority and which video will get played on top of another video. Um, so basically, we're going to be playing multiple videos. Um, yeah, I'll show you how that's done. So I grabbed some video footage from pixabay.com. Uh, these are videos that you can just hover over and kind of see it. If we click on them, we can just go and download. And so this is, like, I think this is one of the clips I did. And this actually has some audio with it. And then I'm going to drag these in. So I have three video clips. They're in my downloads folder. I'm just going to drag them into my projects folder. I'm left click and dragging these in. And then we can watch them in our projects. Uh, we can just like see what the video looks like. So this Mercedes one's actually already been edited and cut together. It's a bunch of different clips that's been edited. Some, some of them are even like slowed down. They adjusted the speed of it. Like I think right here it drives through some water maybe. Uh, like slow motion. And so, but what I want to do, which one has the audio? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one has audio. So we can see it has a little blue audio line right at the bottom. It shows the audio waves. I'm going to left click and drag this down to our video one. Because I want this to kind of be the base the base of our video, like the, the the constant. So this video is going to play the whole time in the background of our video, and it's also going to be playing this audio of like cars driving, since the other two videos don't have any audio with them. So now I'm just going to drag and drop onto video uh, track two. We'll drag this one here of the freeway and onto track three, this one of the Mercedes. So if you see what happens, we were watching this video that had the audio. We're on our project monitor right now. Oh, now we're on our project monitor. So we were watching this video below, but now we're seeing the Mercedes. If I left click and drag the Mercedes over here forward in time and then unclick, we see the video changes because the playhead is looking at this video now. So between these two, the playhead, uh, it's choosing to view whatever is the topmost video. So the higher the number of the video track, the more the top, the more priority it has to get seen. But both videos are playing at the same time. So if we play this right now, we'll see, or we'll hear, the audio from this lower video, but we're seeing the video from this top video. Does that make sense? So if we drag this out of the way, now we're seeing just this one video that has the audio with it. So what we can do, this is something I do a lot actually, I'll have one video playing constantly, especially if you have multiple camera angles of the same thing happening, like an interview, you have a a camera pointing at someone's face or a, ca a camera pointing at the interviewer and then a camera pointing at the interviewee. Um, I'll have one of the interviews playing that has the best audio at the bottom and then I'll have, uh, I'll bring in other clips, just short versions of it. So we can grab this razor tool and just cut out like a really short clip here. Then go to my selector tool and I'll just drag it in here. And maybe we can even drag in this little piece that we had We'll have that be the start, then it'll go to there, and then it'll come in. Then maybe we'll have the Mercedes one start. So what this will do is, it's going to play, I'll just click and drag. So it's going to play this video, and then when it gets to this point, it's going to play the video underneath. And then it's going to play this video, then it'll play the video underneath. Then it'll play the Mercedes video, while still playing the audio. So we'll just click and actually, let's just play it and watch. We see where the playhead's going. Now it's playing this freeway video because it's on video two. Now it's going to drop down and play on video track one because there's nothing in video track two right now. And it's going to jump back up to video track two and play whatever's in there while still playing the audio in the background. So really, it's playing this background video. We just can't see it because it's being covered up by video two. Um, and so in the last video, we learned about how to transform just so we can kind of drive this home. Uh, no pun intended. Let's go to... Uh, Crop and transform. We'll drag a transform into here. And if we change the size of this video, then we can actually see what's happening. Now we see we've got uh, this video playing down below and also this video playing up here. And we can drag and have it be playing down here if we want. So that's pretty cool, huh? And we can even do all three of them if we want to. We can drag this one. And I'm going to resize this. I think I talked about this in another tutorial, but you might have forgot. If you go to the end of the video, you can actually just click and resize the video as long as you're not trying to go past the extent of the video or further forward than the beginning of the video. So these video clips that we cut over here, we can drag them and make them a little bit longer um, as long as we don't go past the extents of, of that. 
So in fact, I'll put this back where it was though. I'm gonna move this up top here and we're gonna keep it the same length as this Mercedes video, but we'll apply a transform to it as well. And we'll resize it as well. So now we've got all kinds of different video happening here. We've got the Mercedes video. We'll put it right there. So now when we play this, it might take a little bit to play. But now we see the first person view of driving this car. We see the Mercedes driving through water and we see all these cars going here. So that's kind of how to do video in video uh, or like picture in picture. I'm gonna do, a, I'll do another tutorial on that later showing how to do like desktop tutorials where it has your face in the bottom right hand corner uh, and then it'll have like your desktop screen in the, for the rest of it. But that's basically how you accomplish it is it's playing all three videos on all three video tracks and I guess just to get crazy here, let's just add in some audio too. So I'll drag in this uh, audio file. And then we can really, oops, I mean, just hit OK. And then we'll put it down here. So then we really have a lot going on. We're playing audio from here. We're playing three sources of video. And two of the video are, are resized to be on top of each other. We got our music playing and doing all this. It's a little bit laggy because it's trying to do it's it's trying to read three three 720p videos and also play the audio and also apply the transforms and all that. So, but when we render it out, it'll look just completely normal. And in fact, I'll show you. Since I do want to do this, let's just take this opportunity to learn how to use this thing here. Whatever this blue area is, whatever selected in this blue area is what will get played up here in the player, first of all, and it's also what we can we can render and export out. So if I just want to do it, let's just do a short portion here because I don't want it to take forever to render. And then we click up on render, and then we just say selected zone instead of full project. Then it will only render that portion, that um, 10 seconds roughly is what it looks like. So, and in fact, I'm gonna make it even shorter so that we don't have to wait. Let's make it teeny tiny. And let's go to render. We'll render selected zone and we'll save it to the desktop. And we'll call it, uh, oh, whoops, we don't want WebM though. We'll just, we'll just call it something. And then we'll make sure it's an MP4s. I like to, you could do WebM, but MP4 is kind of this, a good standard for uploading to like Facebook or YouTube. And I'll just pause the video while we render this out. Okay, so that took about 40 seconds to render, actually 48 seconds exactly to render. And we'll minimize and we'll just watch this. Cool, so that's the video, pretty cool stuff. So that's just a little, hopefully that kind of made, maybe cleared up some things in your mind uh, as far as how to use these different tracks and then we can add in, you know, multiple audio. And if we want to add in another track, we can just right click and we can go insert track and we can add another audio track. Uh, or can't we? Audio two? Oh yeah. We'll add an audio track. Insert above audio two uh, and we'll call it, we'll add, it'll be an audio track and we'll call it audio three and it's add. So now we have audio three. We can, can we rearrange it somehow. Oh yeah. I think we click uh, this button here. Anyway, this is what you can rearrange these as well. So appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully that was informative. Uh, catch you on the next one.